stop drinking beer because this is Tom and Jonas from the amazingly Swedish band Evergrey. We're coming to you straight from the heart of Paris and you're watching I think that's, that was the whole idea, uh, to sh just shake it up a bit, you know. Yeah. Make and people uh, shit their pants. Yeah. Basically. Uh, but I mean, it's also a good representation of something like a turmoil, like, like the ocean can be, you know. Uh, have, having the waves crashing down on you and yeah. the darkness and the insecurity and the fear. I think it's a very evil, violent riff. Yeah, the violence of, of uh, being thrown around in the ocean, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I mean, life is my main inspiration, but I think I would like to think as me as, as a part of nature. <laughs> me and Jonas especially do a lot of music outside of Evergrey, uh, which sort of scales out those other influences. And it's an outlet for us to get rid of or not get rid of, but, but get to write music in other landscapes than what we do in Evergrey. So therefore, we what is left is for this album was a lot of heaviness and a lot of aggression and a lot of uh, dark, heavy shit. Yeah, that's it. That's Next it. question. <laughs> Yeah, and, and uh, okay. as well, I mean, a lot of music to just vibe out on and yeah. just be not, not, you know, I'm not saying we're, we're having a, some kind of a formula with Evergrey, but when we write other music, there are, sometimes there are for, formulas to, to uh, you have to keep, you know, when, when writing. and. When we wrote the Atlantic, we felt like extra free, you know. So we just went for it, right? Threw ourselves out there, and uh, if the the song ended ended at you know seven and a half minutes, that was the song. That's your first single today, yeah. seven and a half minutes. And what the funny thing is that today we just received like from our record label that the song has been added on like seven or eight of the most popular playlists on Spotify today, which is ridiculous because it's an eight minute song of the n most non-catchy music that we have ever written, but but it proves that you stay true to yourself and people fucking dig it, yeah. hopefully. I felt, and we talked about it, that we didn't want to impress people with the visuals. We wanted to impress people with the music and we didn't want to put a a naked girl and fire and and uh, five hot guys from Gothenburg, Sweden, in the video, to 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 convince you that this was a great song. Yeah, uh, we will do that in the next video. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly all those things I just yeah said, right yeah hot girl fire five, five. hot guys yes. from Gothenburg. Yeah, that's what you're gonna get in the next video. I think um, during the writing for the Hymns for the Broken album, I started writing the lyrics and I figured that I was writing about somebody else. Uh, somebody who was transitioning from, from being one person, leaving something that he was you know, f feeling secure within his life and entering another world, you know? But then on this, uh, during that album, I realized that I was pretty much writing about myself. and. Uh, so I would say that the Hymns for the Broken album was about realizing that you needed to make a move, you know. While, while, while the Storm Within album uh, rather was about the realization and, and the, the honesty of, of re uh, yeah, realizing that, yeah, fuck, this isn't going to work anymore. I have, to, I have to leave. And the frustration and the fears and the darkness and all of that that came with that but also some sort of hope for the future. But at the same time, it wasn't set in play either. And that's where the Atlantic com comes in. That, that, that's when you put your both feet in the water and start shoving out the, the, the ship and leaving. And uh, 
I'm not saying that I'm on the other side of the ocean yet, but at least I embarked on the on the journey. And uh, yeah. And why the Atlantic? Because uh, the Atlantic, as an or any ocean, represents so much of the of the of of what life is really. You know, and the crashing waves, the the darkness and the depths and the loneliness and the big vastness and feeling small in a huge world and not knowing what is on the on the other side of the ocean and how that's going to treat you and who you're going to become yeah yeah i think so kind of not by yes. far but yeah it's yeah, it's it a, it's yeah by far yeah. Especially on the drums, I would say. I think so too. Yeah, I mean, I know so. Based on drums, because he's yeah. playing. But guitar-wise, it was. I mean, not rehearsing now; it's not easy. But it, it was somewhat easy to record it. Yeah. But uh, it's different worlds. It's one world writing it. It's one world recording it, and it's one world fucking rehearsing it. And I hate it. I yeah. fucking hate it. But no, I don't. I like it too. But it's hard. It's hard work. I honest, honestly, we, we it, it's a it, it is a fucking struggle. I mean, we, fuck. I mean, we're not pretending that we're, you know, John Petrucci and, and uh, Mike Mangini no. on, on drums here fuck and no. guitarists. It's uh, we we struggle. They but they they fart better shops than we <laughs> they deliver. You know, it's fucking hell. But but to credit us, we really put in the work to make sure that we're a great live band. And I think yeah. I, I honestly, I honestly think that we are. So. Yeah. I mean, oh. a, a lot, but I mean, it's, I don't know, should we spend time on talking about, we're going, we're coming to France first with Camelot to Milouz. Yes. And then we're coming back with uh, Evergreen's headline. Yeah. Uh, same month, March or April. Yeah. With a great package. Great it's package that we can't tell great. you about yet. Yeah. But we're headlining, so it should be great. Uh, and then we're doing uh, festivals, USA, back to Europe, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. Just put it out on ten thongs. Ten, ten thongs, not <laughs> thong, yeah. thong, 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 thong. Yeah, <laughs> and those thongs are gonna be out in New York uh, in a collection. No, we're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ten uh, thongs. Yeah. yeah. Fucking a. A classic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a ten. Yeah, it's a ten. It's in the box. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. <laughs> That means two things. <laughs> two songs. Yeah. Well, it, it's a ten thong album. Yeah. Get the whole collector's box. Oh yeah, while well, you can. God. Fucking no. A. Okay. Limited edition. All yeah. right, cut. So. <laughs> Don't make me say those words again. Yeah. The TH words. Should I say think? I think those. That means other, some other stuff as well. Yeah, go no. on. Oh, oh fuck. This question is ruined.